Hey everybody, it's Ryan coming here from In That World where we help you and your family swim in the Word of God daily and in today's video we're going to be focusing on three different tips you can use right now to get the kids really excited and really involved in the Bible. So let's get started. Number one, the first thing you can do and the first thing I recommend for you to do is get your kids early, as early as possible and as soon as possible watching Christian animated stories and animated movies as soon as possible because instead of getting your kids as we all know to focus on some of the popular stuff today that the world has to offer like Peppa Pig and Tom and Jerry and all these different kind of things one of the big things I had decided to do early on with my daughter as she was growing up was allow her and make the main thing she watches and consumes in regards to TV and all that kind of stuff was to be Bible stories and Bible animated movies. Why? Because I'd rather her watch that if she's going to watch cartoons than watch some of the other stuff that's really not going to be really that beneficial to her in the long run. So from an early age, I got her watching loads of different Bible story videos, loads of different animated series, all of this different kind of stuff, and I'll link some of the stuff in the video as well. And I'll kind of make let you see some of the stuff in the video as it's going on as well, so you can kind of get a gist of what it is. But you'll be surprised how quickly they pick up the scriptures and pick up the stories of what's actually going on. Because when you ask them questions about it, I used to ask my daughter questions about all the time and I'd be surprised how quickly she just got this stuff, okay, really quickly. The amount of knowledge she had at that age, okay, two, three, four, etc. I could only imagine having that kind of stuff at that age as well. But because we made it a ded well, because we made a dedicated effort, me and, and, and my wife to get her to know this stuff, it really paid dividends um, and has paid dividends going forward. So what I'm gonna recommend for you as soon as possible, get your kids watching these things because they're gonna learn and and intake so much information about the scripture which is going to be beneficial going forward number two the second thing i'm going to recommend to you do which is similar but a different medium is get your kids learning and listening to different um, songs and musical stuff related to the scriptures so for example some of the stuff um, we've really focused on a lot recently is names of the bible and stuff like that, stuff like that as my daughter has grown up and learned to talk and all that kind of stuff and learned to read one of the things we've been listening to quite a lot recently is books of the Bible names, all that kind of stuff. So she's memorizing these memorable songs which are teaching her the names of the Bible, the books of the Bible, the order of the Bible that we have it today and all that different kind of stuff and it's really beneficial. Because when you think about it, instead of flooding your kids with all of this secular music and all that kind of stuff that's really not going to be beneficial for them, why not get them encouraged and excited about listening to these different songs and these different themes and all these different kind of things to get them encouraged and really understanding what the scripture says okay and, and the different books in the bible so you know it, okay and i'll post links to that as well to some of our favorite links and some of our favorite ones we like to do and some of my personal preferences as well because i know it'll be beneficial now another thing i'm going to talk about which i'm not going to list in these three video three things tips in regards to today's video but are really beneficial is Another way you can really get your kids excited and really involved in the Bible is teaching them how to pray. And if you want help on that, I've got a video, okay, and I'll post it in the cards. Make sure you watch it after this video, which is going to show you how to teach someone to pray as a beginner. And I'm going to show you in that video as well some scripture and on top of that, how I actually taught my daughter to pray, something which is three year old proof, okay, so you can literally learn it for yourself. Teach it to anyone else. Whoever it is, if you're learning to pray, okay. Take that video and learn it and it'll be really beneficial as a platform and it's allowed her to grow um, further and further since then and from then. So okay, so let's wrap up today's video. The third thing we're going to talk about in regards to how you can get your kids involved in the Bible is one of these things right here. And you don't have to use this, but this is a medium, just a way to get into it. And it's really, this is family Bible flip quiz. Now you could really get any different Bible game, but this is something I bought a good few years ago from Amazon. I'll post the link in the video description below for you to, to, to learn more about it. But any sort of game that you can get related, you can get your kids into and related to, will be really beneficial. So one of the examples I'll give you for this is what we like to do with this is we'll just have games, okay? We can have it where we're just asking each other questions. Another way we do it is recently, the last game I remember we had, I had my daughter going up against my wife, okay? And what that was doing is that's encouraging both of them, okay? Whether they know it or not. And more so my wife as well okay and even me okay it all, whenever we play this game it always tests us and refreshes our memory about different things in the scriptures but also at the same time gets our daughter really excited some of the things another thing we could do is we could do my wife against me and at the same time as my daughter's asking these questions the knowledge is going into her head whether she knows it um, subconsciously or consciously okay so it's really important so this is another way for you to get your kids excited the different bible games get them involved in all that kind of stuff so number five this is all really centered and the foundation of all this stuff is really you and what do i mean by that well if your kids and these young people that you're getting to impact look at you and they say you know well so and so is really not doing this well what are they going to think they're going to think well why should i do it so for example 
number one, the first thing I mentioned was looking at Christian animated series and Christian animated movies. Well, if your kids and your young people that you get to interact with look at it and say, well, so-and-so doesn't really watch this God-related stuff. All they watch is different stuff, okay? And that's what they see you do. What are they going to focus on? They're going to focus on the secular stuff, okay? It's just that simple. If they hear you, number two, thinking about and listening to just loads of secular music, never listening to gospel music, never listening to these kind of um, Christian-related um, songs, all that kind of stuff, what are they going to say? Well, they don't listen to it, so why should I listen to it, okay? Number three, if they don't see you, if, they, if you're playing a game with them and you can't even play well, you can't be good at the game, you can't answer the Bible questions, you don't know all of this stuff, what is that going to tell them about you? And what is that going to encourage them to do? It's going to encourage them to slack off, okay? So all of this stuff, this is why God said it so many times, okay? You have to be an example. If you can't showcase this stuff to your kids and to these little people in your life that you get, young people in your life that you get to interact with, this isn't going to be the best received so think about it from that standpoint and then remember i'll post links to all of these videos and links and all these resources in the, in the description box because it's really important for you to understand exactly what i'm talking about okay so on that note i'm going to wrap up today's video just to wrap up don't forget to subscribe to the channel below okay and hit the bell notification so you get instant notifications every time we produce new content as we like to do every single week and on top of that leave a comment below the video let me know how you've done it in the past how you are presently doing it and what you might be doing in the future in regards to getting your kids involved in the bible leave a comment below this video let us know so we can all continue to use these tricks and tips to help our kids and the next generation continue to move forward and draw closer to god as always thanks and take care and don't forget to swim daily in the word of god